Does evolution occur through the accumulation of many mutations with small effects or a few mutations with large effects? One way to examine this question is to produce hybrids by making crosses between differently adapted populations. If the populations differ at only a few loci, characters in the hybrids should segregate in the F2 progeny according to simple Mendelian ratios. This would be support for a few mutations with large effects. On the other hand, if the parental populations differ at many loci, the F2 progeny would show a blending pattern of characters. This would support many mutations with small effects. An experiment based on this reasoning was performed using two differently adapted races of sticky sink foil, Potentilla glandulosa, one from coastal Southern California and the other from high in the Sierra Nevada mountains. A large number of F2 progeny were analyzed for a variety of characters such as seed weight, branching, hairiness, and so forth. The distribution of seed weight in the F2 progeny shows a blending pattern, indicating that this trait was controlled by a number of different gene pairs. This was the case with most of the other characters examined and led to the conclusion that these races of Potentilla had diverged gradually through the accumulation of a large number of mutations with small effects. Experiments analyzing hybrid crosses in other species of plants and animals have confirmed that typically the divergence of populations is due to the accumulation of many mutations with small effects.